I hear about all the nightmare stories in my backseat. So, you know, they love Uber in this area and it's growing and growing. The suburban area, it's, it's picking up more and more. You know, Braintree is a great community, has a lot of attractions here from the plaza to the motor vehicle department, the movie theaters, other plazas. You know, people want to come here. And, you know, it's a it's a win-win situation for everybody. And when we can provide that service for 40 to 50%, sometimes 60% if you're including the tip, less than what a cab driver can do, you know, that, that's that's very attractive to the consumers. To give us a little bit better idea of how we're going to regulate this. If we have a motion, we have a second. I'll second a motion. We have a motion, we have a second. Is there any discussion? I like to add, uh, just state the fact that um, I suppose this proposed ordinance has been drafted by a few people that have regulated a lot of it. Uh, look at a lot of different ideas that have uh, been made for out of communities. Um, but I only view this as an interim ordinance until we hear that in the governor's uh, legislation. We feel that the Board of License Commissioners has been politically pressured to hold off and uh, table this issue. And unfortunately, this is a local issue. Taxi cabs are regulated locally across all 361 cities and towns across the state of Massachusetts. The TNCs can be regulated in the same exact manner. Right now, there's no regulations whatsoever, and we feel that they're operating lawlessly, just picking people up and driving them, transporting them from, from, from place to place for hire. And they have absolutely no regulation. We thought that the Board of License Commissioners previously voted to cease and desist them from acting. We thought that they would take these ordinances up today, and we're disappointed that they've been pressured into not doing that. They are they allowing this to happen, and they are now they are now open. To, if there's any lawsuits, they have compromised themselves. They have, this town has opened themselves up to any girl that gets assaulted, that doesn't come home, that gets raped, any accidents that aren't that are not covered by insurance. This town has put themselves at that risk. We think it's a great outcome. We think it's it's going to allow Braintree residents to continue to have plentiful transportation options and job opportunities that ride sharing provides, um, and allow the state to go through their process and develop a clear framework that applies to all cities and towns in Massachusetts.